All right, so I worked for five hours on creating this lesson and now I have my reading log, my quiz for my students to see how they did on their reading. All right, so let's look at their responses. Okay, five kids submitted it. All ready, ready. So let's see, okay, all right. Okay, so only three, one, two, a couple of words, that's it. Just a couple of, oh my god, they didn't even explain why. Oh no. Wow. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how you can help your students increase the length of their writing with the help of Google Forms. If you like this video, hit like or subscribe to my channel. All right, so what I'm gonna do for my next reading log to help my students actually meet my expectation because I don't want them to write in very short sentences, just in a, a simple sentence that has only like one or two or three words. For English learners, it's important that they write in complete sentences where they can clearly express their ideas. Okay, so I'm gonna start uh, or copy this assignment uh, to uh, create a new reading log. All right, I'm gonna go right here, uh, make a copy. Okay, then I'm gonna rename it, for example, reading log, and I'm gonna put for next week, May 11th through May 15th. Okay, and it's gonna be right here. All right, so as you can see, I created this banner to remind my students how it's important to uh, read and what happens when they read one minute a day, five minutes a day, or 20 minutes a day. So this is just a banner that you can also use. I made all questions mandatory it means they cannot skip them so how i did this i put it's right here required right okay so and it's a short answer another important part what's the title of your book so it's also mandatory they cannot skip it uh next part fiction nonfiction. all right so here next question how many pages did you read and i don't want them just to put like a number like five pages now that's why I'm gonna go to this piece right here uh, response validation right here I'm gonna put it in here well, I'm gonna turn it on so here for the response validation I'm gonna put length so and I want them to use the sentence starter I read from page blank to page blank so it's one two three four seven, eight words. So I would put that minimum character count would be eight words. If they want to write more, absolutely fine. And right here, I would uh, write the error that will pop up on the screen. And it would be, um, for example, too short. Add more information. And it's required. Okay. All right. So for example, for the next question, why did you choose this book? I have already provided a sentence starter and I want my student to give a complete sentence about it or to give me an idea why you chose this book to read, not just because I picked it. So why did you pick it? What attracted you to that? So I'm going to turn on the response validation right here and I'm going to set the length again minimum character count for here um, I'm going to put at least probably um, 30 so it's a complete sentence or it's two sentences where students are explaining their ideas and here I'll put too short add more information So how would it look like for my student? I'm gonna go into preview right here. Okay, so they are gonna put their name in here. All right, title of the book, fine. Now let's go and look at this one. How many pages did you read? Let's see, I'll put one. 
com. See? Too short. Add more information. So they would actually need to write a complete sentence. For example, let's see. I read from page 22 page um, 200. Look, huh, it accepts it, see? All right, so once again, if you need to set the limit, if you want your students to increase the number of words in their sentences, so use this feature um, to set the length of their answers and you would see that their response length will increase. If you would like to receive a copy of this reading log, just write it in the comments. I'm, I'll just gladly share it with you. All right. If you like this video, please hit like. And uh, if you have any ideas or something that you want to learn, any new ad educational tools, please let me know in the comments. All right. Take care.